Hello, uh, today we are going to show you how to fix no I pick error message on Medax Portable permanently. So uh, in order to do that, you first need to, to do that through the uh, VBox Manage. But on Windows, sometimes they, we have issues with uh, the system path. For example, if I want to do the VBox Manage, you see there's an error so i need to just put the path into the environment variable so this is the path of my uh virtual box so i can actually go to properties and go to security and just copy the entire path Control c and then i'll go to the search bar and type env and click on edit the system environment variable and from there, what I can actually do, I can click on this uh, environment variable at the bottom, and then can just look for uh, the path, and then new, and I can paste my path right here. Click on OK, click on OK, and click on OK. Now, if we go back into PowerShell. Can just run it as admin now if i try to type vbox manage as you can see that it works now as normal all right so now with the vbox manage we have a lot of information a lot of modification that we can do to our virtual machine so now what we are going to do first, we will need the UUID of our Medax Portable server. So to find the UUID, we can actually type VBox Manage Show VM Info in the name of that of the VM that I want to see the information of. In my case, this is Medax Portable. I hit enter. And you see they give me all information about my Medax portable server and then from here i'm going to just copy the uuit okay i'm going to copy that and then go down to just try to modify that vm using the uh, uuid which stands for universal unique identifier to do so what i need i will need to comment two comments the first one gonna be vbox manage uh, modify vm and i paste the uit that dash a p sorry a c p i of I hit enter and then the second one gonna be vbox manage modify vm my paste dash dash i o a p i c off So yeah, I make a mistake because I shouldn't put any space. I O A P I C off. Hit enter. And then now let's start. Let's try to start our Medax Explorable server. Fingers course. So we're gonna just it's, it may take a while, but I want you guys to see whether or not this is gonna work. So if you have any coffee, just get some coffee and just let's cross our fingers to see what's going to happen.
Well, looks. Cut off pull missing. Can actually you not know, close this. Well, I think it's working. Voila, now you can just uh, put your username, which is MSF admin and password MSF admin. And then voila, you can list, see. Yeah, so I think this is gonna save you guys a lot of hours. So if you are curious, you can go back to the Oracle uh, documentation. They have a lot of documentation, but I was trying to make you make it easy for you guys. You know uh so you can just fix that error permanently so you don't have to spend hours every time to modify no epic now if you found this video useful make sure that you like subscribe and share thank you so much